after Hungary used its veto power to block the European aid package worth 50 billion euros for Ukraine, hours after a deal was scrapped, European Union leaders vowed on Friday that they would clear the huge aid package by early 2024. All the 27 European Union members, except Hungary, had agreed on Thursday to start accession talks with Ukraine, despite its invasion by Russia. However, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban used his veto power to restrain the European Union from providing the financial package to Kyiv and instead wants cash to be used for other tasks such as managing migration. Notably, Ukraine, which is fighting against Russia for its invasion, is dependent on foreign assistance since the Joe Biden administration has been unable to get $60 billion package for Kyiv through Congress. The European Union members, who had expected that all the members would back the deal to provide assistance to war on Ukraine, would now have to put their Plan B to work. For this, the members have decided to hold an emergency summit either at the end of January or early in February. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen stated that all the members are working hard to reach an agreement. However, she added that it is necessary that they would have to work on potential alternatives. Meanwhile, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and French President Emmanuel Macron expressed optimism on providing Ukraine with the aid, which is a part of the EU's multi-year budget plan. Russia, which shares close ties with Hungary, praised Orban's decision, adding that the EU's decision to open the accession talks with Kyiv was politicized and could destabilize the bloc. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky hailed the approval of financial aid package and called it a victory for EU and Ukraine. It must be noted that Ukraine, which is not a member of the European Union, is unlikely to join it for coming years. However, the decision to hold talks illustrates that Ukraine is gradually coming close to its long-term goal.